So this video is about you really personalizing your portfolio site and bringing your own style to it so that ultimately it looks personal to you and not like a template, you know, from a pre-made website. So we need to be back at our editing page um, here where we picked our themes. So once we make our way back to there, you can see we've got this Cravado theme editor. So when we click on that, we open this window here and this black section on the left hand side is where we're going to edit our work. So you've got a couple of different options. At the top here you see you've got headers and logos so if you had a company logo you could upload that there and it would feature on your page this next one that you want to look at is about font sizes so I would say a lot of the writing is quite small so I think if you're really looking to increase it then this is a good section to do that so right now I'm just increasing this one that's called the site title so that's going to be the main title that's on your page and I'm just working my way up and as I'm doing it you can see it's kind of mini saving it and with a little window at the top of the page so I'm taking this up to around about 100 so that it really stands out especially because I've got such strong pictures underneath and um, the other thing you can alter in this bit is the body text so just in the section here above you can increase that and if you look at the words to populate this gallery you'll see that they've just got bigger so you've changed the size but you might want to change what the font is um, especially you could kind of play about with it put your own style on it so this section typography allows you to change it so you can have kind of really modern styles or really retro styles I'm gonna go with this kind of slim little style here that I think looks good this next section down is colors and backgrounds, so you don't need to stick with this bright pink writing that I've got, so if I want to change it, I click on that box and then you've got your whole color scheme at the right, and then when you find an area you like, you click the one you want. And the same here with this background um, for the, the galleries, so I'm going to choose a dark side color just so that you can see what it would look like which I kind of think that was maybe going to be a bit too dark, so I'm going to pick a lighter shade for this one. If you had a really pale image that you think would look good as just a backdrop, this section here, Upload Background Image, would be the moment to put that in. But you probably want something quite pale. Down here we've got theme options. So because of the theme I've chosen, I can have writing at the start or the end of the gallery. So I'm going to choose this one at start, and then I'll show you that later on in the video. If you found it's all gone completely wrong and you don't like any of the stuff you've done, and then you've got reset theme here, so don't worry, just click that and it'll go back to what it was. But for now I want to apply these changes and I'm going to say OK and that's going to make all these alterations. So it takes me through just to have a quick look at how it's looking, I think that's looking pretty good. So and now I'm happy, I've gone back into editing and I'm going to click close and that's just going to close off that section and then I'm going to go up to view your portfolio so that I can see what it really looks like. So here I've got my light green kind of writing, I've got my different font, I go into a gallery, my pictures are all sitting uh, still along from each other, that's looking nice. And then if I want to go back to my main page, I just go back up to my name at the top and click on it. Um, if I come in here into the artwork section, you can see that little light section that I made as a background colour on the right hand side, so that shows when the pictures have ended. And then if I come into a picture, I filled out those details that I showed in a previous video, as so this was a piece of artwork I was selling, just so that you could see what it would look like, and I put a bit of description there as well. So in this inspiration gallery, there's my writing at the start. So when I click that at start, it put this description here, so somebody looks at that, straight away they see the description, and then they scroll along.